This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadirvedi Chennai. Dear friends, are you ready? Have you taken your note? Please keep it ready to start writing. Today, we are going to see conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence part 4. You just write heading conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence part 4. Conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence part 4. Complex sentence in a sudden. Complex sentence is one which is made up of one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. A complex sentence is one which is made up of one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. One complex sentence is one main clause one or more subordinate clauses. We will see one main clause, one subordinate clause. Minimum. Okay. Over subordinate clause is one case is noun clause. In another case is adjective clause. In another case is adverb clause. That is a noun clause. Noun is a very important noun. That is called a noun clause. That is why the adjective clause is nothing but adjective is a very important noun. That is the adjective clause. Similarly, adverb clause is nothing but adverb is a very important noun. That is adverb clause. One thing is, class is a very important noun. That is a subject to verb. That is a noun clause. Adjective clause. And adverb class are in all case name subject verb are in starting la conjunction are in total they are called only subordinate clauses understand so namala purtham vattakam don't bother about noun class adjective class and adverb class you concentrate only how simple sentence in the complex sentence convert pandra that is very important adha enna na conjunctions varudhu adha note pannikiranum okay ipo inge paaka poradhu ipo Adverb class. Here we are going to see various conjunctions. Okay. Understand? Shall we start? Before that, you just understand. You please refer to part one for all the explanations about the conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence. Okay. Shall we start? Okay. Simple sentence. On being punished, he wept. On being punished, he wept. Epome, main class. Start at the community come up on okay. Just you have to note down. And being punished is a phrase. He wept is a main cross. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Every conversion has a complex sentence. And being punished, you know, Maro, when, when he was punished, he wept. When he was punished, he wept. When he was punished, is a subordinate cross. That means what? Adverb clause. He wept is a main clause. Totally it is called a complex sentence. Avan punish panna patta poludu ava aludhan. When he was punished, he wept. Simple sentence le, main clause le, past tense in the same past tense, complex sentence in the main term. Understand? Okay. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. On being punished, he wept. Complex sentence. When he was punished, he wept. Next. Simple sentence. During Queen Victoria's reign, there were many wars. During Queen Victoria's reign, there were many wars. During Queen Victoria's reign is a phrase. There were many wars. It's a main plus. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Queen Victoria and only in the title, Nariya wars in the name. Empty conversion on the paranga. But during one day, when now more. When Queen Victoria was reigning, there were many wars. When Queen Victoria was reigning, there were many wars. When Queen Victoria was reigning, is a subordinate clause. That means what? This is a dual clause. There were many wars, is a main clause. Totally it is called a complex sentence. Queen Victoria. Archi said who did on the Purudu Nareya was in the name. When Queen Victoria was reigning, there were many wars. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. During Queen Victoria's reign, there were many wars. Complex sentence. When Queen Victoria was reigning, 
there were many wars. Next, simple sentence. Being quite contented, she never grumbled. Being quite contented, she never grumbled. Being quite contented is a phrase. She never grumbled. Is a main clause. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Content na thirupti adagirudu. Mana nirai vadagirudu. Grumble na munu munu kirudu. Mana kurai vada veli poduthirudu. Okay. Eppidi conversion adh paranga. You understand meaning from that um, complex sentence. Okay. Ipa na say porayin. Since as use pani karla. As a kondare. As she was quite contented. She never grumbled. As she was quite contented. She never crumbled. As she was quite contented is a subordinate clause. That is an adverb clause. She never crumbled is a main clause. Our muttilum tripti adaydadal. Our yepome munumunu kurudala manakurekale velipurthurudala. As she was quite contented, she never grumbled. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. Being quite contented, she never crumbled. Complex sentence. As she was quite contented, she never grumbled. Next. Simple sentence. Being ill-treated by his master, he ran away. Being ill-treated by his master, he ran away. Being ill-treated by his master is a phrase. He ran away is a main clause. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Every change is a complex sentence. Ipa, being ill treated as the Purundu. As he was ill treated by his master, he ran away. As he was ill treated by his master, he ran away. As he was ill treated by his master, is a subordinate clause. Separates what? An adverb clause. He ran away is a main clause. Totally, it is called a complex sentence. Every other as he was ill-treated by his master. Our master, our most of the treatment of he ran away. I wrote it down. As he was ill-treated by his master, he ran away. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. Being ill-treated by his master, he ran away. Complex sentence. As he was ill-treated by his master, he ran away. Next. Simple sentence. He was too dull. To understand. He was too dull to understand. Away. Understand manna. Rembavum. Dull. He was too dull to understand. Appa. Too vandha inna seyinu. So that a kundu varnu. So vandhu main clause leyum. That to vandhu subordinate clause leyum. That means what? Adverb class le kundu varnu. He was so dull. That he could not understand. He was so dull. That he could not understand. He was so dull is a main clause. That he could not understand is a subordinate clause. Totally it is called a complex sentence. So in the word subordinate clause, adverb clause. Okay. Away Andalak Dalla Yirunda Adanale Avanale understand Panamudila. He was so dull that he could not understand. So here couldn't understand use particular, could not. Expanded form. Okay. Could not is an expanded form. Couldn't is the short form. It is up to you. Okay. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. He was too dull to understand. Complex sentence. He was so dull that he could not understand. Next. Simple sentence. With your permission, I will go away. With your permission, I will go away. With your permission is a phrase. I will go away is a main class. Totally it is called a simple sentence. If you conversion, you please understand the meaning. You have permission to go away. Complex sentence. With your permission, if you permit me, understand? If you permit me, I will go away. If you permit me, I will go away. If you permit me, is a subordinate clause. That means what? An adverb clause. I will go away is a main class. Totally, it is called a complex sentence. If you permit me, Ning in a permit panena, na very If you permit me, I will go away. Shall I repeat them? Okay. 
simple sentence. With your permission, I will go away. Complex sentence. If you permit me, I will go away. Next. Simple sentence. I can only tell you according to my memory. I can only tell you according to my memory. I can only tell you is a main clause according to my memory is a phrase. That means what? An adverb clause. Totally it is called a simple sentence. I can only tell you as far as I remember. I can only tell you as far as I remember. I can only tell you is a main clause as far as I remember. Is a subordinate cross totally it is called a complex sentence. I can only tell you as far as I remember. I can only tell you as far as I remember. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. I can only tell you according to my memory. Complex sentence. I can only tell you as far as I remember. Next. Simple sentence. He replied. To the best of his ability. He replied to the best of his ability. He replied is a main clause. To the best of his ability is a phrase. Totally it is called a simple sentence. He replied as well as he could. He replied as well as he could. He replied main clause as well as he could. Subordinate clause. Totally it is called a complex sentence. He replied as well. Understand? Okay. He replied as well as he could. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. He replied to the best of his ability. Complex sentence. He replied as well as he could. Next. I shall be glad of your advice in this matter. Simple sentence. I shall be glad of your advice in this matter. change complex sentence. I shall be glad. I shall be glad if you advise me in this matter. Okay. Apa complex sentence subject verb simple sentence pirikano. part le? main cross Minimum one subordinate. And the subordinate subject verb Understandable. Correct. I shall be glad if you advise me in this matter. So here, I shall be glad is a main clause. If you advise me in this matter, is a subordinate clause. In the matter, I shall be glad. I shall be glad if you advise me in this matter. Shall I repeat that? Okay. Simple sentence. I shall be glad. Of your advice in this matter. Complex sentence. I shall be glad if you advise me in this matter. Last one. The pewn would be quite happy with a raise of rupees 100 a month. The pewn would be quite happy with a raise of rupees 100 a month. The pewn would be quite happy is a main clause with a raise of rupees 100 a month. It's a phrase. That means what? An adverb class. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Every conversion of the parga. The pune would be quite happy if he is paid rupees 100 a month. The pune would be quite happy if he is paid rupees 100 a month. The pune would be quite happy is a main clause if he is paid rupees 100 a month is a subordinate clause. That means what? An adverb class. Totally it is called a complex sentence. First we have to take meaning for the subordinate clause. Our that means what? Pyunukku. Mass on 100 rupees. Pay panna padu maanal. Pyun. Muttudum. Sandosma irupar. Happy irupar. The pyun would be quite happy if he is paid rupees 100 a month. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. The pune would be quite happy with a raise of rupees 100 a month. Complex sentence. The pune would be quite happy if he is paid rupees 100 a month. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? 
You see here, if you are not able to write, don't worry, you please listen with the concentration. Okay? That is the end up. What will happen? The grammatical structure of sentence on the mind is torn. That will lead to speaking. Understand? You see, adverb class, that means what complex sentence is, adverb class, very, very important conversation point of view. Because, you know, we will use a lot of conjunctions. And then the sentence will be a conjunction. Note panikirange. Yepri conversion pathkirange. Understand? Okay? Okay. Let me finish up to this level. Thank you very much for having attended this class continuously. If you like this course, if you are interested in attending this class, if it creates any positive vibration in your mind, please share with your friends and others. It will definitely, certainly and surely make my dreams realized. I will meet you this time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Yam Kadirvedu. Thank you.